Learn VR MR. Come to the Spatial XR community. Hello everyone. This video is an introduction to a course. Our community has now launched a brand new Unity XR systemized beginner development tutorial. This tutorial will use Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit version 3.0 and beyond as the development tool. In this video, I will introduce the importance of learning this development tool and how our course can help you. If you want to learn VR MR development or are just starting out in this field, I strongly recommend you learn how to use the XR Interaction Toolkit. First, let me briefly introduce the XR Interaction Toolkit. It is a general purpose XR Interaction Development Toolkit launched by Unity, abbreviated as XRI. There are two key words here. One is general purpose and the other is interaction. When developing a VR or MR application, we will involve both interaction and hardware layers. XRI focuses on the general purpose interaction layer. Although there are different types of XR devices on the market now, they share some common interaction features. For example, the mainstream devices like Quest, Pico, and Apple Vision Pro all support interactions like grabbing virtual objects and clicking on UI. XRI itself has cross-platform characteristics, and based on these cross-platform features, this tool has gradually become an industry standard. As the industry matures, the development paradigms will gradually become unified. As developers, we certainly want to use a general-purpose development method to develop for different devices. For example, if I develop a game for Quest and want to port it to Pico, if I use two completely different development kits, the learning cost will increase significantly. However, if I learn XRI, I can use this single tool to handle the interaction layer. And when porting to different devices, I only need to adjust settings based on the hardware features of each device. Therefore, using XRI for development is quite convenient for cross-platform porting. And it is also favored by the industry. This is the necessity of learning the XR Interaction Toolkit. So what can our series of tutorials bring to you? First, I will be explaining using the current latest version of XRI, which is version 3.0 and beyond. It is important to note that there are some significant differences in usage between versions before 3.0 and after 3.0. In the future, XRI 3.0 will become a standard for different devices. For example, Unity's development tools for Apple Vision Pro already require the use of XRI 3.0 or above, and PTO will also support XRI 3.0 in future versions. Our XRI 3.0 tutorial is also the world's latest systemized development tutorial, which is another advantage of our course. Because when people first start learning, the biggest issue is not knowing where to begin or what content to learn in order to be able to independently develop VR applications. You might have seen some cool videos and want to achieve similar functions, or you have a new idea and want to try out its feasibility and innovation on XR devices. You know what effect you want, but at the beginning, you may not be sure where to start or which functional modules you need to piece together to complete the entire process. You may end up searching for different tutorials, mimicking different effects, but the knowledge you gain will be fragmented. If the requirements change later, or if you need to develop your own project, even if the implementation method is quite similar, without consolidating the knowledge you learned into your own knowledge system, you may find it difficult to adapt and apply it in different scenarios. As beginners, imitation is a good way to start learning because it provides positive feedback quickly, allowing you to see results and gain a sense of accomplishment making the learning process less tedious. However, if we want to go further, we need to understand some development techniques and the principles behind the tools. Understand why things are done a certain way, 
and engage in systematic learning to turn the knowledge we gain into our own toolset. This way, when you need to implement an effect in the future, you will know which area of your knowledge system to draw from and where to start. If you are unclear about the implementation details, at least you will have a direction. Compared to the early days when you had no clue, now you at least know what knowledge you need to use, and you can explore further in that direction. Therefore, systematic learning is very important. It allows us to familiarize ourselves with the development process and techniques, convert what others teach us into our own knowledge, integrate different aspects of knowledge, and also help you better adapt to future changes in development tools. Our course will use a systemized lesson structure and high-quality course content to help you get started with VRMR development and build your own knowledge system. As you can see, the course syllabus is quite detailed and covers almost every aspect of this development tool. Of course, this series of tutorials will continue to be updated as the SDKs will keep updating and the demand for new features will continue to grow. If there are any noticeable changes in the future versions, the introduction of new features, or the emergence of popular demands, I will add relevant lessons. So, in the future, the number of lessons in this course will only increase, not decrease. And I will also provide customized course content based on community members' needs. When learning VRMR development, we will often refer to official documentation as it is the most authoritative learning path. However, sometimes the descriptions in the official documentation can be brief or abstract, making it hard to quickly understand what they mean on your own. Based on my own experience, I will provide more concrete explanations for these parts to address the questions you might have during self-study. We have provided links to our Udemy and Patreon pages in the YouTube video description. If you are interested, you can click on the links to purchase the full course.